Okay, so we're given f of x is the square root of x plus 7. We want to find the inverse. And you want to evaluate the derivative of the original at x equals 2 and also the inverse at x is equal to f of 2. Okay, so first thing we want to do is find the inverse. So in the notes for this section, I have a four-step process of how to find an inverse. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight these as we go through. Step number one in the notes says that you have to take the original one and you switch or take out the f of x and replace it with a y. So y equals x plus 7. So we're doing that first. Number two is the important step. With inverses, we talked about that before in a previous video. When we looked at the graph of inverses, we mentioned that the x and the y switch when you do that. So in step two, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to switch the x and the y. x is equal to square root of y plus 7. And that's going to be it. Number three, step three from the notes says that you want to solve for y. Okay, so we're going to have to square both sides. x squared equals y plus 7. Subtract the 7. So x squared minus 7 equals y. And so for step 4, your inverse is going to be x squared minus 7. So that's the first thing they want you to find, the inverse, x squared minus 7. Now that we have that, we want to evaluate the derivative of the original one at x equals 2. All right, here's the original one. Original one is the square root of x plus 7. So start with this, and I'm going to rewrite this without the square root, write it as a fraction power. That way I can find the derivative. Okay, so the derivative, we have to use chain rule again. So one half is going to come down, x plus 7. Subtract 1 from the exponent, negative 1 half. Multiply it by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of x plus 7 is going to be 1. So the, in the uh, derivative of the original one is 1 over 2 square root x plus 7. Okay, so now that we have this complete, what we're going to do is we need to evaluate this at x is equal to 2. So f primed of 2 is going to be 1 over 2 times 2 plus 7. That's going to be 1 over the square root of 9 you'll get 1 sixth. So that's the first answer they want, the derivative of the original one at x is equal to 2. Now they ask us to find the derivative of the inverse at x is equal to f of 2. Okay, here's the inverse one. Let's find the derivative of the inverse. Okay, so that's the notation we're going to use for that one. For this, you're going to get 2x power rule there. They want you to evaluate this at x is equal to f of 2. Okay, well what is f of 2? f of 2, we'll put 2 into the original 1 in place of x. That's the square root of 9 and you get 3. So this is saying that they want you to put a 3 inside of the x. Alright, so if we do that, the inverse derivative, and we're going to evaluate at 3, that's 2 times 3 that's going to equal 6. What do we notice about these answers? They're inverses. The video we talked about just before mentioned that these uh, are inverses of each other. If you have the, the derivative of the inverse is equal to 1 over the inverse put into the derivative. So in this case we found f of 2 is 3. We put that into the derivative and you got 6. So we notice again that these are going to be inverses which makes sense based on what we talked about earlier.